Chainsaws moved in and trees came crashing down within minutes of the Premier launching an upgrade of the Paradise Bus Interchange. It'll result in more than 800 parking spaces, but some nearby residents are furious at what's being lost. It didn't take long for the shrill sound to start. They paid paradise and put up a parking lot. Welcome to Paradise. The Premier's election promise to upgrade the park and ride with a multi-storey car park is now happening. $22.9 million investment by the taxpayers in this project. It's part of a $12.9 billion infrastructure pipeline of work and thousands of jobs. But dozens of trees here will be cut down with a promise of extensive new plantings to really uh, enliven and bring new vegetation to this site. The minister might see this wholesale destruction of trees as the price of progress, but some locals are horrified. It is a tragedy for the area. The number of parking places that they're getting as a result of cutting down all these trees is pathetic. And they aren't the only ones who feel railroaded by Stefan Canol. The Regional Rail Alliance delivered the Minister a Christmas present at Parliament today, his own toy train set. They claim he ignores calls to re-establish services in the Barossa Valley and elsewhere to boost tourism and take cars off the road. Not be the Christmas Grinch and return South Australia's rural rail lines to the people of South Australia. Passenger services to the Barossa stopped in 1969. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Mike Smithson, 7 News.